The Snellen chart is used to measure visual acuity. Visual acuity refers to the clarity or clearness of vision, a measure of how well a person sees at a distance. The Snellen chart is also called an acuity chart or simply an eye chart. It is named after the Dutch ophthalmologist Herman Snellen, who invented the chart in the 19th century. For the Snellen eye test, we use a wall chart consisting of several lines of letters or symbols. There are different kinds of charts. The letter chart normally uses letters of the alphabet. Traditionally, only the letters C, D, E, F, L, O, P, T and Z are used. The E chart is used to test vision for children and for people who cannot read. The E chart is similar to the letter chart in that there are several lines, but all the lines contain only the letter E in different positions. The person is asked to indicate the direction of the E. Number or picture cards are sometimes used for persons who cannot read or who are too young to read. Snellen charts are based on the metric or on an imperial system. The imperial type is commonly used even in metric countries. The chart has letters of different sizes that are read one at a time from a distance of 20 feet or 6 meters. People with normal vision are able to read the 20-foot line at 20 foot, which is called 2020 or 6 by 6 vision, or the 40-foot line at 40 foot, the 100-foot line at 100 foot, and so forth. If at 20 foot the smallest readable letter is larger, Vision is defined as the distance from the chart over the size of the smallest letter that can be read. So a person with poor vision can have 20-50 vision and a person with good vision can have 20-10 vision. The letters on the top lines are the largest. Those at the bottom line are the smallest. To test a person's ability to see at far distances, he or she will stand 6 meters, 20 foot, away from the chart. The person is asked to cover one eye with the hand, or with a handheld cover, called an occluder, and then read the smallest line of letters that can be seen on the chart. If the person is unable to cover the eye, an eye patch will be used. When the test is completed with one eye, the other eye will be covered and the process repeated. The person may be asked to read a different chart or to read the lines backwards to make sure that he or she did not remember the sequence of letters from the previous test. Make sure that the Snellen chart is well illuminated. Position the person to be tested 20 feet or 6 meters from the chart, either standing or sitting. If the person normally wears distance glasses for driving or watching TV, he or she must wear these glasses for the test. The right eye is tested first, by convention. The left eye must be occluded by either the examiner or the patient. Establish the line on the chart where the person can read more than half the letters correctly. Record the vision. Document whether the vision was tested with glasses or without. Repeat the procedure for the left eye.
The person to be tested must not use reading glasses. These are for near vision. Some persons can read numbers but not letters. There are charts that have numbers instead of letters. If the person is illiterate, an e-chart can be used. If a person cannot read any of the letters because of poor vision, visual acuity can be tested by other techniques such as counting fingers, detecting hand movements, or distinguishing the direction or perception of a light source held close to the face. Wow.